Um, yeah, look at this deck. Look at him. Oh, daddy. I love him. So I got DK to teach me this deck. I forced him. Um, and it's, it's fun, man. This is great. Um, it's mostly really fun. Oh, I have replays. Oh, we could look at my replays first. Because he was sitting here and helping me for a little while. Because I this it's like, read the card. It's like, okay. And it's got seven equips. All right. So this deck is fun as fuck. And it's really fun because you get out this fire daddy. And then there's a smaller daddy. It's like the sun. But we don't want to call him that. We'll just call him Big Brother. So you have Big Brother and, and Daddy. All right. And when you get Daddy out... You equip a bunch of shit onto him, and it makes it so they don't work. Nothing works. Nobody works. You ever just wanted to make your opponent's dick not work? Well, that's how you do it. And it's just nothing can work. Well, it depends. You're going to equip him with a type of summon, and that type of summon cannot activate its effects, which is crazy. So you, you equip him with Link and Synchro and Exceed, and they can't activate any of those. You might want to equip him with a fusion because we have DPE. So if you equip him with a fusion, his DPE literally does not work anymore. So it's really fun. And it's mostly fun because nobody's reading your cards because there's like seven of them. So they go into DPE, they try to activate his effect. Nothing happens. They're looking, they're looking down. They're like, yo, why aren't she working right now? This is, I'm really on the spot here. You're putting a lot of pressure on me and not performing. This is really embarrassing. And then you laugh at them and they don't know why things aren't working. It's really great. It's one of the best decks I've ever played. You know, you don't equip DP to the daddy, you equip a a a woo. A was. I wa ass. You 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 equipped I wa ass. And this guy is pretty good too. He's like a change of heart, but a surprise. So they'll be like, woo, I'm doing my things. You'll be like, surprise, bitch. And you just steal their monster. It's pretty great. And then not only that, but like some of these exceeds or whatever, when you equip them on him, he could attack twice or you could destroy one of your back row and one of their back row. This one gains him a thousand attack. This synchro, this shit is nuts. All right, this shit is crazy. When this is equipped to daddy, when they attack or when you attack, you could destroy the monster like before damage calculation. Like they attack and they're bigger and they're like, oh, I'm gonna smash that daddy so hard. And you're like, no, you're destroyed. And it just destroys them like instantly. And it also makes it so he cannot be destroyed by spell and trap cards. So this card, this shit is fire, man. It's called Magistussy and it's just fun. I, I saved replays for you guys. We could look at them, and then we will play. Um, how do I how do I look at my own replays? <laughs> Ta. Okay. See this? It's at platinum two, so it's not great. But we're I don't play very much. So this game's boring. However, we're gonna we're gonna look at these. Let's let's go, man. Now, I don't remember these replays very well, but I will as soon as I see them. And there's a lot of misplays, I think, in this one or the other one, uh, because I didn't know what the cards do, but I figured out real fast. I also got Ash. So I'm just going to go through this as if you've never seen this deck before, because you probably haven't. So this guy, if you haven't noticed, hey, it's Endymion. It's him without his armor, which is cool because he's actually really hot. So if you've ever wondered if he's really hot, now you know. Um, he comes out and you can equip this one and this one searches. So basically when you want to do this deck, you just want to get this out and search like as soon as you can. But we got Ash, but we had this because fuck Ash. 
So we get it anyways. So we're gonna search. And you always like really want Crowley, because Crowley is lit. But you're gonna get the girl. So you get the girl because you're gonna discard the girl and you're gonna summon the Crowley, which is pretty baller. You could also destroy the back row to like draw a card and put one back in or something, which is great if you like brick. But you're gonna make the exceed. The thing about the exceed is that if you make the exceed, you get locked into only being able to special summon Magistus. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except for Magistus. So if you do this, you can't DPE that turn, which kind of sucks. So you don't want to do this if you don't have to, but you can't. You, you probably have to a lot. So you get Big Brother out, and then Big Brother's, Big Brother's bitching. So you want to equip him into something because that's how you special summon the monster from the graveyard, and then you make Daddy. And there's Daddy, it's so beautiful, look at him. Oh, fire coming out of his hands. So I equipped him with the Synchro because it makes him unaffected by spell or trap cards, or he can't be destroyed by spell or trap cards. I choose the Link monster because everyone Link summons, and then I choose the Fusion because I don't want to get DPE'd right now. So, if this guy does this, if he does anything, he cannot activate Synchro's Links or Fusions. The only thing he could do is exceed, and I'm kind of just taking the gamble that he will not exceed. This also should have been in defense, but I forgot she's a thousand attack, so now she's in attack mode. And I also have a Maxi, so I'm pretty freaking cool. So he fusion destinies. I don't think he knows. He doesn't know. He's lacking critical information. I'm Axie because I just want to draw one. But I have Big Brother in my hand, which means I could summon another um, level eight synchro if I want, which like Barlow Savage Dragon is a level eight synchro. So this guy could have won if he just would have summoned this first and fused with my daddy. But I don't think he was aware that he couldn't do things with DPE. So he caught, he definitely messed up. He messed up. But I wanted to show myself negating his DPE, it was funny. Sorry, search a card. Also this card, this card's wild. If you activate this card, you could special summon everything from your hand. Like bam, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That card is Monster Reborn, pretty much, and also when it's in the graveyard, if they Harpy's Feather Dust for you, you can remove it and they can't destroy your back row. So, like, just dumping that in the graveyard is actually pretty good, too. So I got Selene out, and I, like, forgot what Selene does, but she summons something else. I forget, what does Selene do? Oh, DK was like, you need Selene, and I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, she makes, like, access code. Oh yeah, this is how I messed up. So I went straight into access code. I should not have gone straight into access code. We should have went into another link and then into access code. Because I should have won right now, but I didn't. And then I shouldn't have even destroyed the DPE with his effect because I was able to attack, attack twice. So I should have attacked twice with him over DPE and over that, and the access code should have been bigger. But actually I did win, but I needed that guy. And I needed Big Brother out there. So, that was Pogger. Daddy deck on Daddy's Day. I don't know if I kept this in permanence in my deck or not, but it's there. Oh, yeah, we played against Sky Strikers. And I, got, I think I got every hand trap in the book. Am I gonna upload it on the website? I have to get Diamond to upload it. So we could we could work on that today. Oh, I know why I have this replay saved. It's hilarious. So this is a pretty good hand because you could use this chick to like search things and do things. But he kind of cucks me like right in the beginning. So we can get rid of her and put him out, and then we can Monster Reborn her with Vitra. 
And then we could start our trying to get Big Brother out to get Daddy out. So we cannot summon DPE this turn again, which sucks. I also put her in attack mode again, because for some reason I just cannot register that she's a thousand attack. So we get him all out. We could destroy a back row and their monster, so you could destroy your own equip, because it's going to go to the graveyard anyways once you synchro. So if you know anything about Sky Strikers, you know that they mainly Link Summon. So I'm going to get the Link Summon out so that none of his Link monsters can activate their effects. And then I got the Exceed out because uh, that was the only thing in the graveyard. So he gets to attack twice, which is pretty poggers. So he got out, he got out this yellow one because he thought he was going to uh, negate my attack. So it didn't work. Our DK was here during this duel, and he's like, "If he gets the yellow one out, he doesn't. He didn't read your card." <laughs> so he got the yellow one out, and he did not read my card. Now we have the synchro out as well. That spell card lets me just equip uh, any card from my extra deck onto my monster. So now he can destroy anything he attacks, and he cannot be destroyed by spell or trap cards. And he surrendered. It's not, I know he couldn't really do anything anyways, but it's still funny. And then I don't know what this one is. I like this deck a lot. I, I'm still really, um, I'm still really unfamiliar with it. Like, I'm still really shaky with it. Um, so I need to play it, like, a lot more. For me, like, playing decks is more of, like, muscle memory type of thing. Um... And then once I get the muscle memory down, my brain will start to work after that. So I'm going to get both my monsters out after I got that card. And we already have him out. So we can Anaconda instead of using the Exceed because we already have Big Brother out. He gets equipped. He special summons from the graveyard. We could search a monster before we Synchro because it's going to go to the graveyard anyways. And I haven't even used the Fusion monster in any of these replays because... Adding the fusion onto these combos is a little more in depth, and I have I just have not gotten there yet with this deck. So we've got the synchro out, and we have a link. So we're hoping he doesn't exceed or fusion, and we have DPE for the first time. So, I can't remember what he does, but I think this is the game. Yeah, Dark Ruler no more. So I, this is nuts. This is absolutely bonkers. So I lost my abilities here. Dark Ruler no more. Nothing has effects. I can't chain to it. Um, so my DPE is useless. Um, my daddy is useless. And he's got Vishula in the graveyard which is going to send my monster back. This is bananas, man. Bananas. But I do at least have a maxi, so I'm drawing a lot of cards, which is excellent. Bron de Fleur. So we're going to have to play through a negate. My monster is getting destroyed. My entire field is clear, except for my one face down, which all that does is equip a monster from the extra deck onto a Magus Tussy. But we have that one. That book thing. That lets me summon my entire hand. And he didn't... He has this negate, so we have to be really careful. And then he also destroys two of my monsters. Like, this is bananas. Like, I was getting so screwed. So we're going to search a card, and he's going to negate it. Saddest day of my life. So we got negated. So I summon the Ash Blossom so that I could draw two. And we got the Monster Reborn, which is great. So we're going to bring him back out. We're going to equip him up. And we're going to special summon from the graveyard. Oh, this was so wild. I can't believe this. Also, I didn't even mention he could come back. He can come back from the graveyard. It's absolutely bananas. So he's equipped it again with Synchros. He can destroy anything that he attacks. Making Cerberus. We're gonna destroy 
Veranda forward Cerberus. And then we're gonna go into Access Code Talker. I think this is the replay where I fucked up Access Code Talker. I was supposed to go into the next link, but instead I just went straight into Access Code. So I should have won, but I didn't win. Which is extremely disappointing. <laughs> but I could have won, is what counts here. <laughs> so I can't remember, he's got that Vishula. Did he use his Vishula? He already used his Vishula. I'm pretty sure he doesn't get another Vishula. If he got another one, we would be, we would be, we would be bone. We'd be super bone. Yeah, I forgot to do the Link 3 with Axis Code. <laughs> There's a lot to think about when you play a new deck. I was so excited to get to this point that I completely forgot how to climb. So he doesn't read that his guy is negated by my guy. So he's got no effects and he also gets destroyed. He didn't read and he surrendered. DK said he definitely could have won because uh, DK knows what Sword Soul does, but I didn't, so I was pleased. So yeah, he didn't read. He thought he was just gonna attack over it and he couldn't. So that is basically the gist of this deck. It's pretty great. I don't know, it's probably not that great, but I really like it, so I love it. Let me know what you think.